Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'm going to explain you topologies of computer network. So there are five topologies. I'll explain you each and every topology along with practical examples. So I'll explain you theory as well as examples of each and every topology so that you can be able to write answers in competitive examination as well as in university examination. So when it comes to various topologies of computer network, then there are five topologies like mesh topology, star topology, bus topology, ring topology and combination of all these topologies that is hybrid topology. Now let me explain you first how mesh topology is there. So let me give you one example. Like here you can observe four nodes are connected as per mesh topology. So see all the nodes are connected to each other via link. Right. So you see this node that is connected to all three nodes via this three link, right? Likewise, this node is connected to all the nodes via these three links. So in mesh topology, all the nodes are connected with each other. Let me give you one more example. Like you see five nodes are there in this mesh topology. So all the nodes are connected with each other, right? You can observe over here. Now, there are a few basic things that you need to understand like how to calculate number of cables. So when it comes to four nodes at the time, it is very easy to calculate, right? Like you see how many links are there? Means how many cables are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, four, four nodes. But as if you have been given with 10 number of nodes, then how to identify number of links or number of cable? So for that, you need to understand this formula n into n minus 1 by 2 means nc2. Now you see how it is happening. Like you see if you have 10 nodes then n is 10. So 10 into 10 minus 1 that is 9 divided by 2. So that is 45. So for 10 nodes with NAND mesh topology you can have 45 cables inside that topology. Right. Here you see we are having 4 nodes. So with 4 nodes 4 into 3 divided by 2. So that will be 6, right? So based on this calculation, we can directly solve it. For example, 5 nodes are there, then you don't need to count these wires over here. Directly you can say 5 into 4 divided by 2. That is our number of cables that we can identify. Now there could be question based on how many ports are required over here. So you see, if you observe number of nodes over here, right? then there are four nodes. Now you see here, all the nodes are connected with each other, right? So total four nodes are there. So four into one node is connected with other node means n minus one nodes, right? So n into n minus one, that will be number of ports. And one more thing that you need to remember here, always remember this number of ports in given topology, that will be double than the cable. Right. Why the reason is with one cable, you need to connect two nodes. Right. With one cable, you need to connect two nodes. That's why number of cable, that is half of number of ports or you can say number of ports in given topology that will be double than the number of cable. Right. Now here, you need to understand few basic parameters like what is reliability, which is there with mesh topology. So reliability is very high. Now what is the meaning of reliability? Reliability means here my dear students as if any node is getting failed then will it be giving failure to entire network? No with mass topology let us say if one node that is this node that is getting failed till other nodes can communicate with each other right. In this network for example if this node is getting failed then also all these nodes can communicate with each other, right? So reliability is very high with mesh topology. When it comes to cost, then cost is also very high. Why the reason is with mesh topology, all the nodes should be connected with each other via cable. So here you need to have high, high number of cables with this topology. That's why cost is very high. When it comes to security, then security wise also this is very good. Why the reason is? all the nodes are connected with each other. So here as if two nodes wants to communicate with each other, then there is a separate 
wire in between two nodes right for example you see here as if these two nodes wants to communicate with each other here we are having separate link over here in between these two nodes right so there is no security concern as direct communication is happening over here as if via via communication is happening like if this node is communicating with this node via this route in that case there can be security concern why the reason is now information forwarded by this node that is going towards this node after that this node is receiving it so in that situation there can be security concern but with mesh topology all the nodes are connected with separate wire with each other that's why it is having higher security right and it gives point to point connection means dedicated connection is there in between nodes that's why security is very high reliability is very high but cost is also very high so you can say disadvantage is there based on cost but reliability security that is very good which is there with mesh topology and when it comes to calculation of number of cables at a time you need to understand this formula if nodes are given number of cables will be n into n minus 1 divided by 2 and number of ports will be n into n minus 1 now i am going to explain you star topology so first of all you need to understand how structure is there for example here we are having four nodes so in star topology all these nodes are connected to hub right so hub is a center of this entire network where these nodes can communicate with each other via hub only for example if this node wants to communicate with this node then via hub that communication will happen right so here in star topology all the nodes are transferring message via hub right and here if hub is getting failed then you can say entire network will get failed so dependency on hub that is very high with star topology that you can see so here when it comes to number of cable then that is simply number of nodes you can see here four nodes are there so number of cables will be four only right but when it comes to number of ports then it will be two into n why it is two into n see this node is connected with wire with this wire via this port right and with hub also there should be port so with this wire there is a requirement of two ports right likewise with all the wires you need to have two ports so number of ports over here with star topology that will be 2 into number of nodes right when it comes to reliability then reliability is very less why the reason is if hub is getting filled then entire network will get filled over here with star topology that's why you can say it is not a reliable network here cost is low why the reason is here you need to have less number of cables for this computer network right but cost of hub is very high as if you have more number of nodes over here when it comes to security then security is very less over here why the reason is entire communication that is happening via hub right so for example if this node wants to communicate with this node then it will be communicating via hub so all the information that will get route through this hub that's why you can say security concern is there with hub so as if some hacker is hacking this hub in that case that hacker can have all the data which is been routed by respected nodes which are there inside this network right and here you can say there will be point to point connection over here in between nodes why the reason is this node can communicate with any other node via this hub so point to point connection that will be provided by hub over here so security issue is there but cost is low with this star topology and you should know how to calculate number of cables and number of ports with this star topology as it has been explained over here now i'm going to explain you bus topology so if you observe bus topology then there will be central cable so there will be thick ethernet cable that is also referred as backbone cable this cable can be terminated by terminator or for long distance communication you can use repeater as well with this cable right now you can observe here all the nodes are connected with this cable only right these all the nodes are connected with this cable only you see here tap is there and that tap is used to 
have a interconnection of this node with this cable right so you can observe here tap is been shown and drop line means cable is connected with this tap to this node right node can be computer mobile tablet anything right now here when it comes to operation then that is happening with respect to this central ethernet cable that you can say that is backbone cable of this if this cable is getting filled then entire communication will get filled now there can be question like how many number of cables that we need to have over here with this topology so central cable thick ethernet cable backbone cable that is one cable and other cables are connected with these nodes you can observe over here right so these are the nodes which are having individual cable connected with this central cable that is n plus 1 that is this ethernet cable so number of cables will be n plus 1 generally when it comes to competitive examination at that time if they mention that you will have to consider this backbone cable then you will have to consider n plus 1 otherwise you need to write n only right now when it comes to number of ports then here you see this cable is connected with this node only via port here you don't need to have port as only this central cable that is been connected via tapping over here right so number of ports with bus topology that will be equals to number of nodes only right here reliability is very less why the reason is as if this backbone cable that is getting filled then no computer can communicate with each other that's why this topology is less reliable cost wise it is very less why the reason is only one cable cost that you need to have other cables can be very short right so in terms of cabling you can have less cost with this topology security is also very less why the reason is whenever this computer is communicating with any computer that will be happening via this cable only and the message forwarded by this computer to this computer will go to all other computers right so security wise there is no privacy with communication that's why security is very less over here right here you can say it gives multi point connection why the reason is all the nodes are connected with each other via single cable so it is multi point connection that you can see so that is how various parameters are there with bus topology now i'm going to explain you ring topology so in the ring topology as per the name itself you can understand this see these nodes are connected in ring manner right so all these nodes are connected via cable in ring manner right and here in clockwise or counterclockwise direction we can have a transmission of data right for example if i say if one node is getting filled in that case what will happen there can be issue with this entire network why the reason is in clockwise or counterclockwise direction we can have a transmission of data so as if one link or one node is getting filled then it can affect to entire network over here right now when it comes to number of cables then number of cables will be number of nodes only you see here five here five nodes are there so for that five cables are connected over here right and number of ports with this network will be with each cable two ports are there right so number of ports will be number of nodes into two with ring topology reliability is very less why the reason is this backbone cable i am not saying this backbone cable i can say all the cables are backbone cable over here why the reason is as if any cable is getting break then it will be affecting entire network right here cost is very less why the reason is number of cabling that is less over here with this topology and security is also very less why the reason is for example in counter clockwise direction in counter clockwise direction as if this node is communicating with this node then that message will go via this node this node and then it will be received to this node right so the message forwarded by this node will be given to these two computers as well after that only this node will receive that message so you can say security that is less over here with this topology and at last i can say it is giving you multi point connection as see the cable which is connected in between two nodes right that is 
sharing information to another node for further communication right so here multi point connection is there like as if this node wants to communicate to this node then via nodes it is going right that's why it is multi point connection over here and when it comes to hybrid topology in that my dear students practically we implement this topology of computer network with hybrid topology only right like there can be small small lens and those lens are connected in enter computer network with hybrid topology only right like my office and another office that is been interfaced with each other then my office may be having bus topology another office may be having star topology and at last proper connection in between all these network that will be interconnection of various topology that is referred as hybrid topology so for example if i say here we are having star topology ring topology mesh topology then with the use of router we can interface all this topology that is referred as hybrid topology now in next video i'll explain you hybrid topologies advantages and disadvantages why the reason is practically we implement hybrid topology only in computer network right so it is very essential to know how exactly hybrid topology is there so based on advantages and disadvantages i'll explain how exactly we can have hybrid topology i hope it is clear to you still if anything that you would like to share it with me please note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video